fairly joyous scenes for Donegal supporters, but Dublin fans are just absolutely heartbroken and maybe shell shocked in a way, Jerry Russell, with the way it's finished because everyone expected Dublin to get to the All Ireland final this year. And to get to it and get to it easiest of all by all the punters all the year and all the writers. And none it's an unbelievable display from from Donegal, you know. Dublin took over in the opening twenty five minutes, maybe should have been more ahead. Donegal came back at them, but as we always say, we'll goals will win games. Mm -hmm. Donegal got three of them today and they're not that used to getting goals. With McHugh for two, McFadden for one, with a magnificent display I think by Donegal in the second half and the, the, the blanket defence worked well. Dublin got no shot at gold, missed a few easy chances. They should have got four or five more points. Brogan missed easy frees. Cluxton missed ones that he'd never mm. missed. McMinimum had chances in front of goals, didn't come. But Donegal were able to work their way back up the field and get the score. The vital points at vital times. They kept knocking over the point and point and not let Dublin get back into the game. But you know, what kind of a bet would you have got to say that Donegal were going to win by a point, but by six points? And at the beginning of this year's football championship, Dublin were fancy to probably retain the Sam Maguire, Cork maybe to be with them, Cork Dublin maybe uh, All Ireland final. It's a Donegal Kerry All Ireland final, and I think we're going to have it a magnificent final because today's football not a real blanket defence that we'd see from Donegal. They gave away a few free as well. They played good, good hard Gaelic football. They, the mark man to man, and I think that's what Dublin weren't set up for that. You know, I'd say Jim Gavin had them all right to score points. They thought it was a blanket defence going to be set up by Donegal. They didn't do that. They played man to man most of the time. Dublin weren't able to counteract that. The subs that brought on didn't work today. It wasn't just Jim Gavin's day, and I'd say Dublin or shell shot. Well, Ryan, Ryan McHugh, Jerry, is man of the match. Two goals and two points in all Ireland semi final is fair going, all from play. Yeah, in a football match against Dublin, it's huge. But, uh, you know, um, Murphy as well, he caught some great balls, he moved out the centre of the field, he caught a few great balls. They lost the full back through a black card, Donegal lost another player as well, but they don't mind that. McHugh is there, he's only a light cut of a player, tremendous footballer, keeps out of, uh, out of the toughness, but he's in the right place at the right time. And to beat Cluxton for three goals, you know... It, you know, I think it's great for football, Dublin or Leinster, I suppose everyone would love to see the Leinster team winning. But Donegal, I think McGuinness will go down as one of the great managers now. Mm. He's organised now to beat Jim Gavin's men in Dublin. You know, there was a, after Donegal losing last year, he got a lot of criticism. He stayed on, he has come back, and really this is the big one for him, Will. Well, there were big question marks, let's be fair about it, yeah. because uh, you know, the feeling was last summer that Donegal had lost their way, the intense type of football they played had maybe come to an end of a cycle, but they're back looking hungry again this year. Yes, and a lot of, a lot of their players have a lot of mileage up, Will. That's why I thought today that the, you know, they weren't in maybe with any great chance today. McFadden played his heart out, he got a goal, he got a point, he was taken off, but he has, he has gave a huge lot to, to Donegal football. But, you know, Murphy, McHugh, the young players they have there, and the full back line as well. McLuhan played well, Ryan McHugh, Kavner, Rory Kavner, Colin McFadden, as I said, Neil McGee at full back before he was sent off as well, and I thought the goalkeeper played very well as mm -hmm. well. Dublin never really got going. They were frustrated at times. Really. In front of goals, we saw Dublin over the in the Leinster Championship in the semi final. They had missed nothing in front of goals. They were kicking bad wides today, which Dublin, they were put under too much pressure. Mm -hmm. That's what happened today. The pressure was there. Dublin just they pulled the trigger too quick where other times they had time to look and pause about it but they got no time today Midfield was interesting because Michael Darren McCauley was player of the year last year and he could do no wrong this year and then today he came up against Dodron McNeilis and Neil Gallagher and Gallagher particularly was really good in the middle of the field Donegal won midfield today Donegal won the midfield battle very slightly today you see Dublin that's the first time Dublin came up against two good tough players today and uh, you know Macaulay did good runs at times but you know just didn't work for them they were behind which they were never in many games and you know they didn't know how to counteract it Gavin brought in the few subs didn't work today it worked other days but today it didn't Donegal had their homework well and truly done so it'll be I suppose a nice journey back for them mm -hmm. tonight they're happy they're in an All-Ireland final after just a couple of years it, I think it's a great achievement and they were waving the dubs off the hill even with two or three minutes before the game finished because there was that feeling Dublin just weren't going to get the two goals well that's true they needed a goal with 15 minutes to go Will. I said that all along they, they never looked like going to get one but you know Donegal coming up today with a minor team a senior team have beaten the two teams that was odds on to win an All-Ireland final mm -hmm. and I saw the Dublin Miners this year Demolish awfully uh, in O'Connor Park. They were very impressive indeed. But 
like their seniors, they've been caught up. And the next question would be, the Dublin Miners, there were arguments they weren't tested enough this year. The argument about the Dublin seniors now is, the Leinster Championship particularly does not test Dublin before the All-Ireland Series. That probably, there will be a lot of question marks over Leinster football now, other teams in Leinster, because Dublin mm -hmm. demolished that they came across. Today they came up against a Northern team, strong, I don't think all teams that a lot of people thought were just gone over the top, but today they proved it. But they, had, they have nothing won yet. They have to come back and, mm -hmm. I suppose, carry it. It'll be a different... But, but I think it'll be a great all the final. If Donegal play open football, the way they play today and the way Kerry plays, I think we're in for a tremendous final. It's going to be youth, and mm -hmm. youth again experience in the all Ireland final. It'll be a huge build-up. It'll be a huge game. going to be interesting because, you know, that Donegal defence stopped Dublin getting a goal today. Absolutely. Which nearly always happens. And I know some guys had to sacrifice themselves. Like uh, you had Neil McGee get his black card. And I think you had Frank McGlynn get a black card just at the <laughs> tail end of the game there as well. But for the best part, they were able to keep Dublin away from scoring chances. And against Kerry, that's going to be crucial with Donaghy and with James Dunne. Oh, absolutely. When you take a look at Dublin, Alan Brogan, Owen O'Gara and Bernard Brogan, Flynn... Flynn was tremendous in the first half, but he was completely out of it in the second half. And Dermot Connolly, all goal getters today, they got no chance, not even a shot. The goalkeeper had, the Dunny goalkeeper had to make no save today, really. Mm. Which is so rare with Dublin as well. And as you said, what I thought was very interesting was that you'd say Bernard Brogan had a free there, 25 metres out with five minutes to go. Snatched at it, put it over on the far side. And his head just dropped. Absolutely. You got that feeling they knew they were out of the game. Absolutely. And O'Gara had one in front of goal out to the right and wide again his head was good it dropped as well you know they were hit hard today hit fairly and squarely I have to say mm. good refereeing today as well Joe McQuillan good refereeing um, you know you couldn't question any any of the real decisions there was few frees in the Donegal only gave away three in the opening half and another team only gave away three frees in 35 minutes well it's mm. probably a record well do are Kerry better equipped than Dublin to take them on they're a new team that, you know they're back in an all Ireland final, and I think him and Fitzmaurice will uh, he'll he'll be happy. I think he'll be happy enough, and mm -hmm. you know, but Donegal or Donegal, and there's there's nothing between Kerry and Donegal. It'll be you to Kerry, a few experienced players as well with Mark O'Shea and a few like that, and and uh, Donegal, but Donegal will go in with lots of confidence. But then there could be question marks. How good were Dublin? Mm -hmm. You know that could be a question mark. And what do you make about the argument that Kerry have had two difficult games against Mayo? They couldn't be better prepared for this. Yes, absolutely. Two tremendous games. I suppose when you look at them, you know, last night, uh, 316, but uh, Donegal scored 314 today. Uh, terrific uh, football last Sunday and last night in the Gaelic Crowns as well with Kerry. You know, we know Kerry. They're pure footballers. They're great players and uh, a great bench of subs. And, you know, the, the Kerry will come up confident enough to Croke Park, but the, the Donegal will come down confident as well. Mm. The other question, and the one we should probably finish on, is the coach who we saw took part in the warm-up. He was togged out at the end of the game. I think he was number 38 on the panel last night. He got a bad injury this year. It was the ACL. Mm. Typical 12-month turnaround. Yeah. That should be November, not September. Is there any risk that Emma Fitzmaurice might say, five minutes to go, Gooch, go on there and get to go? Well, I think if Kerry's winning, the Gooch will we'll see him for a couple of minutes. He, is, he was a great player and still is a great player and he was very unfortunate, I suppose, with that injury, Will. But if he was playing with the, the new fellas, that the, the new Gooches that has come up in Kerry with uh, uh, O'Donoghue and Ganey and them lads, it mm -hmm. would be some full forward line and you have the big man himself, the basketball player, to poke the ball around to them, it would be a formidable line for any full back line to stop. Well, we were talking to Pidgey Ward about Donoghue earlier on as well and like he was in exile for a while. They kind of had dropped him and he became a sub. Hard to see him not start now on the third week of September. Yeah, I suppose he wasn't maybe that well got, I think, with him and Fitzmaurice mm. uh, down there. But uh, Fitzmaurice had to, uh, had to swallow his pride last week and brought him in and he, he pulled the game out of the fire. And was, it was debatable last night whether he was going to start him or not. And he did start him and he proved to be, we know what he proved, he, you know, Mayo couldn't just handle him. Yeah. He's a big man, but the, the hands he has, but the quickness, you know, the basketball, just... The pass is so quick from him, and Donahue and the rest of the lads know exactly where where Donahue, where he's going to put that ball, mm -hmm. and that's you know we remember the time of the bomber list and full forward for Kerry, the other great forwards played around him. This is much the same. Donahue will start in the All Ireland, but 
he'll be up against fairly hardy boys from Donegal but you know I think it's going to be a great final Yeah well I think uh, Neil McGee and uh, is a bit set, better set up I think to uh, take him on rather than the Mayo full back line last night who probably didn't even expect Donny to start but Jerry Russell many thanks for coming into the studio I've enjoyed your company and sure we'll be talking to you on the airwaves as the club championship move into the semi-finals now as well Absolutely and the quarter finals of course decided enough some good mm. games thrown up so it, it, it's going to be very interesting 